Yeah, right. Like the commercials used to be like, and they tell two friends, and they <laughs> right. tell two friends, and, and so, so on, and, and so on. on. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay, man. So let's go ahead and talk about the NBA Finals. Uh, game one was yesterday. We'll give our picks in a minute. We were going to give it yesterday, but stuff came up, so we're going to give it to y'all now. Oh, we're gonna give it to you uh, in this episode, but let's talk about Game One, <laughs> which was—I don't think I was shocked that Cavaliers came at them like this. I think, right. if, if anything, they need to sneak up in here and get Game One, and they should have had Game One because the way they was playing, that it was a great game. Mm-hmm. Uh, they came to play and it seemed like Golden State wasn't ready for it. Uh, I'm looking at the stats right now; it's basically even. Uh, but once that was glaring to me, the Cleveland Cavaliers had 19 offensive rebounds to the Golden State's four. But other than that, everything was uh, practically even. But there was, I'm going to say, two situations that tilted the, the, um, tilted the scales to the Golden State's favor. A lot of people are up in arms with the referees on the uh, charging call they got changed mm-hmm. to block it. Now I have to agree. I, he, me and you seen the video last night. Mm-hmm. He moved. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Move to the left to get to make sure it's t- he was. It wasn't a drastic move, but it moved enough. Where he moved to the left, and it's changed. It changed from the charging foul to the blocking foul. But the problem everybody has, even Coach Tyron Lou, is the fact that why we even go to replay in the first place. Because it was called a charge, and they were looking at the replay to see how far he was from the restricted area. Mm-hmm. He was quite far. He was about four steps. Yeah, he, yeah. he was it, way too far. Right. It was obvious that he was far enough. Mm-hmm. So when they went to look at the tape, look at the replay, and seeing that he was far enough, they kept it going, and seeing that he moved to the, to the left, and that's what changed the call. And when Tyron Lue said, we shouldn't even been looking at the replay in the first place. Which I agree. I'm on his side with that. What you got to say about that? Yeah, that right. Because yeah, once you make that call like that, you stick with it. You know, right? So you right. stick with it, even if you know, even if it's the wrong call. Right. You stick with it, and you know, and they do that throughout the game. They mm-hmm. do that throughout the game, and then that's when they get the makeup calls. You know, and you'd be like, man, that wasn't no. But that's to make up for the last call. You know? <laughs> exactly. Everybody, if you watch the games long enough, you know that. The players know it. Everybody know it. Yeah, it's make up calls throughout the game because the refs, yeah, they miss calls. They F up calls. So, yeah, they give you make up calls. Right. Now, from my understanding, yeah, uh, I, we did see the replay. And uh, it, it was a blocking. You know, it shouldn't have been charged. It was blocking. But they mm-hmm. called charge at first. And yeah, okay. It should it should have been that's the way it should have stayed. You of course, you know, do with the sports center and all this crap, whatever replays. Yeah, they're gonna look at it. Okay, I, we blew that call, blah blah blah. We make it a, they give them a makeup call or who knows further early in the game in that quarter, whatever. That could have been a makeup call for uh Golden State. Right. So, that's true, that's true. You know, who who knows, you know, but they kind of, you know, when they actually went to the replay, they kind of took it, you know, a step further. Because one, I I think the Cavs felt disrespected, you mm. know, because mm-hmm. you got the best player in the league, you know, you don't change no call like that against the best player in the league, you know. True that. So I think LeBron kind of taking that kind of personal or whatever, you know, he ain't getting, he ain't getting the respect that he thinks. It's do him. Right. You know, and yeah, they just they they effed it up and no, you didn't get this respect. Not last night you did. <laughs> you know, so who knows? Next game he may get every every ghost call there is, you know. How many flopping calls you got though? This you know, LeBron, come on now. I mean, but yeah, this is a big game, big situation. <coughs> Definitely right. wanna see it go the other way yesterday. Right. 
Gotcha. Uh, so we agree with that. It shouldn't have been called. It sh- number one, it was it was a blocking blocking foul. Yeah. But it shouldn't have went to replay. It should have stayed as is, and y'all kept it moving. Right. Fast forward to uh, end of the game. And now I ain't gonna say the end of the game. I think it was like fifty. No, about eight seconds left on the clock. George Hill at the line. Game is tied one oh seven to one oh seven. He is the first. No, I'm sorry. It was one oh six to one oh seven. George Hill hit the first free throw. Tied it up one oh seven to one oh seven. He takes the second free throw to to get the lead, and he missed it. But his teammate Jarrell Smith got the rebound, which should have been the end of the game. He go up, get fouled, you get a free throw, got the lead. Or you go up and hit the shot, you got the lead. But instead of taking the shot, this man dribbles to half court, <laughs> runs out the clock, and admits that he thought they had they the had lead at the free throw. That's the biggest brain fart I've ever seen in American sports. <laughs> then he, now, he, he tells reporters after the game he knew that the score was tied. Okay, so if the score was tied, why the hell you dribble the half court? I mean, it's obvious, man. Don't 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 try to cover it up. Lie, lie. You know what I'm saying? Lie. They tried to ask LeBron James what he thought about the situation. They kept on nagging him about the question where he got up and walked out at the press conference after the game. Right. <laughs> so, uh, do you now I had an argument with a couple of people at the at the job? I blame J.R. Smith for this game. I know it might be as harsh. People said, no, nah, man, he can't be the, he can't be blamed. He can't be blamed for this game. But dude, you had the to me, if you had the opportunity and you straight passed it up to win the game, who else am I gonna blame? I can't who else who else am I gonna blame on that team for that loss? Tell me if I'm wrong, Gla- uh, Glass. Tell me if I'm wrong, Brandon. Yeah, you're wrong on this. Okay. Why am I wrong on this, man? You're wrong on this. I, I know. I, I know it's a total team effort. I got, I well, got all that. I, I, and I thought about it after I saw the replay and whatever. I, you know, did this in my head or whatever. There's a lot of people you can blame for this game. Okay. Know? There's okay. a lot of people you can blame for this game. Mm-hmm. I mean, first of all, you got George Hill first and foremost. Okay. You go to the free throw line, you mm. got to nail them. Mm. Right. He hit, he hit both free throws the game over anyway. Right. <laughs> you know, unless, you know, you know, you still got those long-range bombers over there, but it's pretty much over. He hit those two free throws. Right. Okay. Because, yeah, Jay, I got the rebound. Okay, one, and you can blame KD on that. He didn't box him out. Mm. I okay. think – I think uh, Jay, I was more surprised that A, he didn't get boxed out, and B, he actually got the fucking rebound. He got the rebound over Durant. So he was already in shock. Because when you get to the free throw line, <clears throat> when you get to the free throw line, that's that's the place where, okay, so first of all, you're getting a few seconds of rest. Collect your thoughts and look at the game situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's been in the league long enough to know the game situation right. or whatever. I so yeah, he's lying about he didn't he thought they had to leave. He forgot. Mm-hmm. He forgot. You know, everything happened, you know, so fast. And he, he didn't get boxed out for one and two. Damn, I got this rebound. Let me get the hell out of here. You know, he wasn't going up. Yeah, he could have he could have went up. It's not a hey, he's not he wouldn't have got the shot. Mm-hmm. Right. He wasn't gonna make the shot. But yeah, there's a, more of a chance he would have got fouled than actually making a basket under there right. against the rent. Okay. So clearly, yeah, he forgot what the situation, what was going on. Um what else? I mean, it's a it's a lot of it's a lot of factors right in, 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 into that. I I don't yeah. He had a couple things he could have did at the end of the game, but people forgetting and they 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 just you know discounting what happened before then. You hit both them free throws. This game is over. It's not. We're not even talking about this. Okay. We're not. So, 
I got you. I got you. I hear you. Like it's a team sport. So he'll he'll actually he the one that's sitting back like you know because if Ji don't do what he do, it's all on him. Because he missed that free throw. Because he missed the free throw. <clears throat> okay, I get you. I get that. I get that. But the fact that he was stuck, he did something so stupid. That's the best yeah. word I can say. That you was right there at the basket. And I hear what you're saying. He might not have hit, had that shot anyway, but at least attempt it because anyway it goes, like, okay, if you get blocked, still tied. But you put the fourth F to try to win the game. You ain't try to win the game when you sitting here running toward the half court and, and hog the ball. So, okay, he's not totally to blame, but hell, he getting a big share of that pie. Yeah, yeah, he gonna, yeah, he gonna get it. Okay. He gonna get it. He gonna get it. But I know in the next game Sunday, so he got a long way to try to deal with it. <laughs> right. But I don't. I I think it's more so on the free throw than him. You know. Okay. Uh, I think about. It. I you know I think that guy that guy pretty much lost the game. Then. I ain't gonna say lost the game because it was still winning the overtime, but mentally they was done. Right. You know, well, it, the game right once it was once it went in overtime, which Golden State knew, and we go into overtime, that's game anyway. Mm-hmm. You know, cause, mm-hmm. you know, so they they didn't even look back. I think those they had twelve points before Cleveland knew what the hell was going on in that overtime. Right, I think they. Seventeen to seven, seventeen points to the Cavaliers seven. So yeah, yeah it's, it was, they they passed up this opportunity because they should have had this game. Yeah. Like, like any time, any time you grow up in there, you got to shock that team, which they did, I believe. Yeah, and steal that game because if you steal that game, you go home one one. You take two games at home, you got a three one lead. That's and, what you- and I think I didn't see the starting lineup, but I think that the biggest discrepancies in that. First game was the rebounds. Right. Yeah. You know? Like I said, yeah, they had especially the offensive rebounds. They had like 10 more rebounds than uh uh the Warriors. Yeah, yeah. so you're gonna see a different lineup change. I think Golden State started a small lineup last night. Right. You know, started a small lineup and nothing they gotta correct, they gotta correct that pick and roll because when the Cleveland Cavaliers pick and roll and when Steph Curry's sticking LeBron James, you can't have that. Right. They can. So they're gonna clean that. So like I said, this is the opportunity that the Cavaliers should have should have took advantage of because Golden State gonna be ready for them Sunday night. Oh yeah, next game. Yeah, this next a, game is gonna be a straight blowout. I'm right, gonna just say it right quick. now. Right. Right. <laughs> With that being said, LeBron James. He, I ain't gonna say I don't. I hate LeBron James, and I think because of public scrutiny of. LeBron is better than Jordan. I'm, I have a biased opinion, but I respect his game. He's the best player in the league right now, and it shows right now what you see in the postseason, what's going on. Man scored 51 points last night in a losing effort. Now, I think they said he's the sixth player in NBA playoff history. Oh, actually, sixth player in NBA finals history to score over 50 points, and he's yeah. the first one to lose it. That's a damn shame. He had no help. I got a problem when outside Kevin Love, and I got to give Kevin Love a round of applause coming off of a concussion and you scoring 21 points, you the only person that was in double digits with LeBron James. Beautiful thing. Great, great job from Love. But to have just James, James 51 points, Love 21 points, and nobody else scoring over Good double game. digits. That, that's a problem. That's a problem. Good, good game plan for Golden State. Let, 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 yeah, that's why I was trying to get Boston in the – say, get LeBron, let LeBron do his thing. Should but anybody he, else do that? He held on 19, 21 points and, you know, love 30-some points and all. You can't do that. The LeBron mm-hmm. scored 50, 60. God bless. You know, that's <laughs> right. Nice. He scored 51 points. He did it all. He was a great player. You know, but it's in a losing effort, right? Not a good thing. At, at, on the road, when you had them, you gotta have them games on the road. You know how the saying goes: the, it ain't a series until the road team wins uh, the, wins the game. This is where it would have been interesting if if uh, Cavaliers would have won this game, but it is what it is. Now, 
also in the game. We already know Iguodala is out because of a bone bruise on his knee. Uh, Kevin Love got back from his concussion protocol. Now, that's one more thing I'm going to say I'm going to bring up with Kevin Love. I'm worried about Kevin Love, actually, because I don't know how many con- concussions he went through, mm-hmm. but the concussion he got when he supposedly banged his with Jason Tatum in the last series, it wasn't that hard. Matter of fact, I want to say it was shoulder to shoulder. And for him to be out like that, was that game six? I think that was game six he was mm-hmm. out. For that to happen like that, that means, tell me you've been, your your integrity, your, your brain integrity is shot. Because remember back in the day with uh, Michael Vick, he got concussed so much that he used to get hit in the ribs. <laughs> he get concussed because he got hit in the ribs. That's what it looked like. Because I looked at that slow motion tape and with Tatum and, and uh, Love hitting each other. Yeah. And it wasn't that, like I said, it wasn't that bad. And I think it was shoulder to shoulder. And since his head jerked back, that's how he got concussed. And that's that'll show in your playing career. You know what I'm saying? So the Cavaliers need to, need to keep an eye on that situation because he could be yeah. concussed within this series right here. But moving on, like I said, he scored 21 points. He's all right. Uh, Clay Thompson, J.R. Smith slipped on the floor. We we're trying, trying to go over there to uh, Clay Thompson to steal the ball. He slipped on the floor and twists uh, his knee or his shin. It looked it looked bad. If you look at slow motion, it looked like he could have pulled some ligaments in his knee. Mm-hmm. He came back, played the rest of the game. I'm talking about Clay Thompson, but he had a little limp at the end of the game. I'm sure he's gonna play. Uh, in the next game, but that's another fact you got to worry about because you know once your adrenaline is stopped and that and that knee gets sore, you don't have to stay off of that for for. I'm sure, a, they, I'm sure they iced it and right. mobilized it immediately. Yeah, right. So, with all that being said, bro, game one is over. It really didn't change how I feel about my picks. Which you, you want me? To, I'll tell you. I'll go first. I'll go first. Go first. <laughs> Who I think gonna win the series? Hands down, easy as easy as anything I've been talking about for the past week or two. Go and say Warriors. They got too much. You, I know you got the king. I don't even like calling the king. You got LeBron James on the other side, best player in the in in the league right now. Right now, yeah. But you can't have one man going up against four all stars. That's like Superman going up against the X Men. It ain't gonna work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, he has a little help, but this man cannot – I know he plays like he's hes not human. He's scoring 40, 50 points a game. I got all that. But he can't do that can't win for, a duration of, for a duration of six to seven games. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Uh, he got tied in, against Boston when Boston blew out the Cavaliers. He's, he's sitting on the bench trying to get some air. He's a well-conditioned – player but he's human you know what i'm saying so yeah he scored 51 points this game he ain't gonna score i bet you won't score over 20 some points next game you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. um they got a they got a deeper bench than the cavaliers you know what i'm saying they they showed it last night uh what's his name uh javel mcgee wasn't playing that much the last series but he played and showed out when in the third in the third third quarter, yeah. third quarter. so he's he's useful you know what I'm saying? Larry Nance, I was impressed yesterday on the on the Cavaliers. He played a hell of a game to be a rookie in that spotlight. So, yeah, they got – but they inconsistent. J.R. Smith, you might have him come out there and not score a point like he did last series against the Boston uh, Celtics. Mm-hmm. So they're more inconsistent on the Cavaliers' side than they are on the Warriors' side. Warriors got home court advantage. If they go to game seven, it's in the Oracle. I don't I, – I can't see – uh, Cavaliers coming up out of there. Now, me and you both got a co-worker at the job I call the Black Nostradamus. <laughs> and you know what I'm talking about. We just argue about it. He said that this this Cavaliers team is better than the Cavaliers team that beat the Golden State Warriors two years ago. I have no idea where he see that ish at. Yeah, I don't know. Um... But, no, nah, I don't think so. It, it ain't going to happen. They got KD now. They didn't have KD in that game. Cavaliers had Kyrie. They don't have Kyrie this year. So I don't know how you make that comparison. I have no idea, but it is what it is. 
Mm-hmm. With that being said, everything, everything when the dust settle, LeBron, I'm just going to say, I'm going to give the gentleman sweep five games just because LeBron is LeBron. He might win one of them games at home, and that's it. So I got the Golden State Warriors in five. What you got, bro? Yeah, that's what I had winning one game. I mean, Cleveland winning one game, but I think they missed it last night. Mm-hmm. They won game, so I don't think they're gonna win. Oh, <laughs> you think they're gonna get swept? Yeah, I think they're done. Woo, done. Yeah, that took a lot out of them last night. Well, you know, it could rebound, you know, it could say, okay, well, we was close, so we, we can't beat them. We mm-hmm. ain't beat them, but we was in the game, you know, we was there, you know, mm-hmm. we had to try to beat them. So if we tweak this and tweak that, normally I would say, yeah, that's that's possible, but. That's a wake up call for Golden State too. They gonna be like, "Hey, you know, we exactly. could have got beat, you know. We we, we could have got beat last night, so we put these bums away early." Yeah, you know. <laughs> and, I agree. I and, agree. And, take, and, and get that taken care of with the quickness. So, yeah, I I had before the series started. I said five games. Uh, they missed the opportunity, so I don't think they're gonna win the game now. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Y'all heard it here. I said five games. Brandon said four. We're both going with Golden State. Now, before we end, let me ask you this question before we end the the episode. Everybody's complaining about, you know, this is the fourth time, fourth in a row that we have the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Golden State Warriors in the finals. First time ever in national, national, first time ever in North American sports history that something like this happened. And I have to agree with the Golden State Warriors. They asked Clay Thompson, I think they asked. Draymond Green, they was like, dude, okay, if you don't like it, y'all beat us. Y'all put a team together right. to beat us. Beat right. us or beat the Cavaliers. If you don't, if you tired of this, it ain't their fault. They didn't make the schedule. They didn't make the lineup. That's on them. So you, you got to build team in the East to go ahead and knock them out. Until then, we're going to keep on having this. I have no problem with it at Me. all. You know, it could be boring to some people, but you're getting the best out of the best. I like – Everybody still crying about KD joining the Golden State Warriors. I, we talked about this before. He was a free agent. He was free to go wherever the hell he want. He went to the Golden State Warriors to get a ring. He got his ring. Look what LeBron joined. As soon as he leave the Cavaliers, he gonna go, I mean, as soon as the season's over, he's going to jump to another team. What's the difference? No difference. Right. So that's how I feel about it. I don't know if you agree. It yeah. is what it is. If you ain't happy with it, y'all, y'all build up a team to go beat. The Golden State Warriors. You build a team in the East to beat the uh, uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. That's how I feel about it. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's that's the way it is, man. It's just the way it is. I agree. So, okay, we seen Game One last night. Warriors won 124 to 114 in overtime. It might have been the last attempt for the Cavaliers. I'm gonna say they're gonna win one of them games at home. Nah, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs>